All right, Todd's back on the, mm -hmm. the calm before the travel storm and the actual <laughs> storm the actual all hitting storm. on the same day, ironically. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know that it's definitely true that tomorrow's the busiest travel day of the year. I, That's what the experts I mean, maybe, say. It, maybe in, at the airports, but, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, don't know I've, yeah, I don't I've know what the parameters are for that because yeah. I feel like Labor Day weekend's always really busy. Oh, Memorial crazy. Day weekend's crazy. Yeah, and there are a couple of July weekends. Try lot, driving, so. you know, in the middle of August, you know, on a Friday in August. Yeah. You know, maybe to it's Maine. a flying thing. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know where that stat comes from. Yeah. But that's what they say. So. It's what they say. And regardless, it's going to be a problem for tomorrow, whether it's rain, whether it's snow, whether it's a combo of both. So we haven't had a lot of snow this season, and not that we expect a lot of snow to this point in the season. Portland has picked up a little coating, two tenths of an inch of snow. Average to this point would be a little over an inch, so we're you know, shy of that. Bangor hasn't had any measurable snow yet, and to this point we should have 2.7 to 2 inches. Uh, Caribou's picked up close to the average, about five or so. No snow out there this morning. Uh, it's just downright cold. Almost all are in the teens, and if you aren't, you will be soon. Uh, Portland's 22, Livermore, Augusta, Rockland, Phippsburg, and then Portsmouth and Rochester and places over in New Hampshire are in the 20s, but everyone else in the teens. We have 20s along the down east coastline, but as you work your way up through Bangor and Herman and Orono, you've got teens here. Teens in the county, Escort Station, 13 is the cold spot in both New England states right now, it appears. Cold dome of high pressure over us. Another quiet day filled with sunshine. As it departs tonight, it's going to leave behind this air mass. So when this rain runs into it, it will begin with some flakes. Along the coast, those flakes will not last long. As you go up into the hills and mountains, they'll last longer. And that's where we're really looking at most of our accumulation. This morning, clear and calm. Coldest yet, though, for most this morning. It's so dry, I don't think there's going to be much frost on your windshield. So maybe uh, hang out in the house and have a couple more sips of your coffee. Cold sunshine for the middle of the day, although it's going to feel a lot better than yesterday. No wind. No wind is key. All times of the year, but especially in the wintertime. High clouds will start to filter the sun out this afternoon, and as the sun is setting, those clouds are increasing and thickening up. No precipitation, though, so if you're driving around this evening, you're fine. In fact, you're fine through about midnight tonight, and then that's when flakes start to move through the Granite State. Highs today, 35 to about 40. These are way below the average. They're very similar to yesterday, but again, there's not going to be much wind at all out there. So there's that cold high departing leaving behind this wedge of cold air. At first, the entire column will be below freezing, so it starts as snow, but it will quickly go to rain along the coastline and even inland too by midday tomorrow. This flies out of here. Thanksgiving, we're clearing out. It's actually going to be relatively mild on Thanksgiving, approaching 50. And then the cold returns for Friday and the upcoming weekend, although the weekend's looking quiet now, so that's good. Snow arriving around midnight and then it starts to move north and east again goes over to rain pretty quickly. But tomorrow morning for the commute very early in the commute, there will likely be some snowy and slushy spots out there away from the coast. Snow hangs on for the mountains and north through most of the event, and that's where the more significant snow will be. Now when we do go to rain, this rain is going to come in pretty hard. We're likely going to see an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches of rain that won't taper until the second half of the afternoon across the west, and it won't taper until the evening hours for eastern areas, and then we're clearing out for Thanksgiving Day. So there's the snow map, quick coating, and then that gets washed away, probably about an inch for Lewiston, Augusta, and Bangor, and then as you get up into the higher elevations, you're getting more, with max amounts of six to nine for the whites, the western Maine mountains, and some of those central highlands too. Marine forecast sees three to five, north wind five to ten knots. Gale warnings for the storm as it rolls through tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny today, but cold, highs 35 to 40. Tomorrow morning, there'll be some snow falling and it quickly goes over to rain and it'll pour into the afternoon. Again, temperatures around 40 degrees. Clearing out on Thanksgiving, pretty mild out there. Mid to upper 40s, gonna be nice afternoon so you can walk around and burn off all the food that you ate. 
Uh, Friday, sunshine, but colder. It stays cold through the weekend. Our next storm chance Monday, maybe rain or snow. All right, we'll keep an eye on all those things. Thanks, Great. sir. Appreciate yep. that. And uh,